What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMMAK, just 10 more minutes, aka the freaking 10. We're back again, this time with Battle Beast to kick things off. Now, as you know, I closed out Ginger's Vortex um, last week with their Health as 2021. Um, and so really until they come out with, um, you know, something new, some some tidbits on their website or something, I'm going to step aside from them for now. Um, until that new music comes out, then we're going to go through it all again, um, including if they've done a concert with it. So what I've decided is Battle Beast, I'm going to kind of rotate some of these on Mondays, right? Nightwish and Sabaton will remain the same. But I'm going to go through on Mondays with bands like Beast in Black, Battle Beast, and probably some others. On Wednesday, it'll be Poets of the Fall and other bands, um, Alter Bridge, things like that. Because those are ones I, I've been wanting to dive deeper into. But with the schedule the current way is, just couldn't. So with that being said, expect some more Battle Beast. Uh, I enjoyed uh, the last songs that I've listened to. So this one I'm interested, you know, th those were more recent. This one dates back to 2013. So I'm kind of curious to see where it goes with, with both the lyrics and the music. So with that being said, let's switch it up. Let's check it out. Hardy has that 80s power model. Okay, so I'm going to stop it and rewind it there. Yeah, it's got that 80s power to it, right? With when she hits that she's a black ninja, boom. Um So the lyrics otherwise, in the darkness she's dancing with her lover, in the silence of the mountain hall she'll rest forever. It's a life of a warrior who never comes out. It's a song without music, she's one of a kind. She's a black ninja. You can't see her in the night. So, I mean, obviously they've shown us a picture of a of a, a female ninja, but I'm really not sure what the song is referencing so far other than truly a, a female ninja. So I'm curious. Uh, but let's keep going. I mean, as far as the music go and the vocals, I mean, uh, it's Battle Beast. I... I the minute I heard them, they just gave me that old school rock that I like. So let's keep going. You can't see her in the night. Oh, 
So I'm, I'll rewind it. So it was interesting how they did the guitar first without, you know, that, 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 and I'm not a guitar expert, so don't murder me in the comments, but you know, it, it, it had that Japanese, I don't even want to say acoustic, but they were going for that softer tone. Right. And then in the next solo, they went, I would say a lot more powerful, but still clean without a lot of distortion. Um, but so far it's not connecting with me lyrically as far as telling a story, right? Because if you truly look at the song so far, right? And obviously we've still got two minutes or a minute and a half left. In the darkness, she's dancing with her lover. In the silence of the mountain hall, she'll rest forever. And then close your eyes, feel the magic of the night, lonely voices whispering her ancient name. And then as I look through these lyrics, the rest, except for one line, is all repetitive. So it's an, because it's not a bad song. The music is good. The vocals are amazing. I love her voice. But the lyrics themselves are a little off. Let's keep going. Yeah, so I like <clears throat> I like the vocal and I love the music. But the lyrics themselves, that's where I struggle because it's just repeating a lot of, of She's a Black Ninja. Now, I said this about uh, similar about Ghost when I first heard is that Hunter's Moon, I think it was, and it turned out to be for a movie. And since then I've actually I, I really like Ghost. And I really liked their stuff, and it was Circus of Doom that I've, I've, I think I've covered the first two off of, that I really, really liked. This one, was it recorded for something different, at like a movie or a video game? Because that's what I get the feel from it. It's just the lyrics don't have a lot of depth to them. Their performance was great, and, and I love their music, and I love her vocals. But this just... Uh, uh, I struggled with it lyrically. Like it was just missing that extra umph of a story to tell about the black, this black ninja, right? It, it, because it just literally, right? It, it's four lines, maybe even five. If you, if you count the, you can't see her in the, the night and you can't feel her in the dark, you get six. But really other than that, it it's a lot of repetitive. And, and so it doesn't give an in-depth story uh, that I would expect, as their other songs have. So just curious what this was recorded for, um, if if this truly was a an actual release for an, an EP, or was it for a video game, a movie, or something else? Because that that's the part that's getting me with this. 
Let me switch it up. I'll give you my final thoughts. So again, I, I don't see this as a bad song. Um, because again, for what it lacks in story depth, not knowing what it was written for, but that preface there. Music was great. The vocals are just fantastic. I love that power voice that kind of gives it that 80s, you know, <laughs> metal sound of, I, I'm trying to think of the band, you know, Dawkins obviously comes to mind, one of my favorites from that time. Um, there's another band that I, I'm hearing on my head when, when she hit those higher notes that I, I don't know who it is off the top of my head, but it sounds so much like it. And that's a good thing. I love that type. So I'm going to continue down the, the Battle Beast journey. This one just lyrically didn't get me. So I want to know, again, as I said, what it was written for. Was it an EP or was it written for something like a movie or video game or something like that? That didn't require as much of a story being told as the lyrics is, is what I would expect. But again, that's just me nitpicking. Everything else I absolutely loved. I'm interested to see. That's going to do it for this one. I'll do some shameless plugs. I haven't done them in a while. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you like the content I put out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, I put out anywhere from 18 to 21 videos a week. I think I counted on this week's plan 21. Hardest working reactor out there, but the smartest working reactor out there of how I record my videos. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It's always free. It's free to you. Just lets me know as a content creator, am I putting out content that you like to watch? Views, anybody can click on something. But if I connect with you, breaking down the song and looking at the lyrics, hit that subscribe button. I've got almost 600 videos out with as many as I do in a week that you can go through. I break down quite a bit of songs. I just finished the Queen of the Murder Scene album by The Warning, which was fantastic. And still got Nightwish, Sabaton, all of those out there. So if you like it, hit that subscribe button. Until then, this is JTMM. Y'all know who I am, what I'm about. I'm out.